Marcus Blackus. I had to talk about this situation real quick. I seen a girl on TikTok. I actually seen it on um, the Jasmine. What is it? The Jasmine brand. I seen it on their Instagram, but then I went to the girl's TikTok. And I think it's called Fly for I Keely or something like that. But long story short, Pharrell Williams, director of Louis Vuitton, something with the fashion and all that. You got some explaining to do. You know Pharrell. I was just fronting. Pharrell from the Neptunes, the Nerds. Um, I forgot the same group that he's down with. But long story short, they just did a Paris Fashion Week or some shit. They did a runway in Paris. They displayed this bag. Now in this bag, the girl that I was talking about on Twitter, I mean on, on TikTok, she actually dropped a similar bag in 2021. And she made the bag, she made the bag out of Louis, a Louis Vuitton shopping bag. You know what I'm saying? She went viral. She got over 10 million views and all that. She was getting mad love from all kinds of people. Dapper Don, this person, that person. She was getting, she was viral. Two years later, and mind you, people caught it. People was like, yo, they gonna steal your ideal. Two years later, Pharrell Williams has it in his collection. Now, don't get it twisted. Some people are going to be like, well, Louis Vuitton is their bag. Like, you can't really say nothing. Like, it was their shit. How can you sue them? How can you this and that and the third? It's not about suing them, like she said, even though she might could work something. But it's just the whole point of y'all know y'all wrong. Y'all know y'all fucked up. Y'all know y'all owe her something. It's like, you can't do that to people. And that's the whole point she was trying to make. It's like, where people on the come up creating these ideals, instead of stealing it, even though to a point you feel like, okay, it's my shit anyway, you just did something with my shit. For me to come up with this ideal where it's to the point where y'all about to make so much bread off it, y'all can't make me a partner. Y'all can't put me, like she said, at least a one-time deal where it's like, Y'all put me on with this one thing and now I got crazy looks where I don't even kind of need y'all no more. But I would say put me on the team. If I could do some shit like this, this basic, what else I could do for y'all? You know what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, I want y'all to just look at these clips and just soak it in. I want to share her story because I do feel like they took her ideal and ran with it. And mind you, I don't know how much these bags are, but I'm hearing they could be like $2,000. So imagine that she just made a crazy ideal. These motherfuckers PC in two thousand dollars off that. I mean, she can't get like ten dollars, twenty dollars off each two thousand. I'm saying, as being the creator, the real creator of it, that should have still make her rich. At the end of the day, I'm saying. But anyway, man. Like I said, I just wanted to put that out there, man. This is a crazy ass story for real. Being that you a fashion dude. It's like, if you knew about this, come on, man. Y'all been fighting for years trying to, like, trying to get people to, like, stand up for themselves as far as, like, with music, with, like, being black and stuff like that and just being creators, you know what I'm saying? Because it was a time where people didn't accept y'all. Um, But that's how the game goes, too. Like, people getting positions or people... People still ideals, you know what I'm saying? People still songs all the time. People still styles, flows. So it's it's no different. But hopefully she get her just due. But yo, I'm gonna keep this short, man. Like, comment, subscribe to the channel. You know what I mean? Shout out to Kanye. Cause when I think of Louis Vuitton these days, I always think of Yeezy. But I'm out of here. One. So back in 2021, I had went viral for this Louis Vuitton shopping bag that I turned into a purse. And when I say viral, I ain't talking about Oh, you hit the shade room. We got a couple thousand views. I'm talking 10 million views on Twitter. I'm talking every blog. I'm talking Daily Mail UK, Daily Mail here, BuzzFeed, like everywhere. Uh, to the point where I was hit up by so many celebrity stylists, so many celebrities. Um, even my idol hit me up, Dapper Dan, letting me know that he's seen what happened and telling me, like, the culture always wins. Keep doing what you're doing. Like, all of that. So fast forward to 2000, what is it, 23, 
And under Pharrell's creative direction for Louis Vuitton, they dropped what looks like it's the bag. Yeah, it's crazy. So this is the bag actually having the 10 million views on Twitter. That was when I created it. This is the bag that Pharrell dropped this season. And typically when people get on these socials and start popping their shit like that, people will always be like, who are you? And I just, cause you're, cause you're small, but they do this shit all the time. It's just frustrating to the creatives because what, like, what would be something small with y'all with like these bigger brands as far as collaborating, like a one-time collaboration or just something is life changing for these creatives. And there's nothing to y'all like for y'all to just do what y'all do like that is ridiculous it's not like i'm not even mad about the shit i'm just like like what is small to a big corporation is something major to these small business small businesses that are sm these creatives like without they don't have a big name like mm. i just i feel like what like what can we do like what can happen to stop them from doing the shit and this is when dapper dan actually hit me up saying he's seen it uh, that's Daily Mail London, it's uh, BuzzFeed, like so many blogs hit me up, like the receipts are there, but yeah. Marcus Blockus.